Hi, my name's Steve and welcome to the Seaside Lotland channel. So today I'm doing the What Am I Sowing and Growing in April video and I'm going to show you quickly round all the seedlings that we've sown, well pretty much so far this year. Uh, quite a lot of them are in the ground now and growing quite nicely and I'll, hopefully I'll give you some of the dates uh, when we sow those. And then we'll move on and talk about what I'm planning to sow in April. And uh, yeah, it's been pretty good. It's been a challenging time for everybody. Um, but the almonds going growing pretty well. I'm trying to get things in the ground as quickly as possible because I've got no idea whether we're going to get an increased lockdown. And that means trips to the allotment might stop or might um, have to reduce in frequency. So there's a lot more being planted in the back garden and uh, a lot more being planted in the ground as quickly as possible here. So uh, yeah, with that intro, Let's get on and I'll show you around quickly what we've got growing. So in the polytunnel itself, most of the focus is on the onions. We've got Elsa Craig, Zebrun, uh, more Zebrun. I mean, some people, uh, there's a debate whether they're onions or shallots, but basically most people know them as shallots. Rice burger, more rice burger. Uh, North Holland Blood Red and some more North Holland Blood Red. So nice selection of onions. And then we've got some more spring onions here. So these are Leela, look nice red one. They're Leela as well. And I just didn't have quite enough, so there's some Proforma there as well. These are some cuttings off the perennial kale plants. And I know we've got some people waiting to get those in the post. And uh, uh, I, I'm uh, gifting a few of these uh, to people, but uh, don't ask for any more because that's all we've got. And then I've got some celery that's coming on quite nicely. I really want to get that planted. And a spare tray of lettuce. I really wish I had somewhere to plant these lettuce. I've already given a few trays away, uh, but I don't. So I'm just holding it as a spare. Some trays with ochre tubers in them. I think I've got two more trays like this and I've actually got my first one just starting to come up there. Potatoes are still doing well. These are the, sh the lush green ones are the Charlottes and the little ones there are the Swifts. The Swifts will be ready soon actually so uh, look forward to harvesting those. Stacks of overwintered lettuces but uh, I don't talk about those in this video at the tour if you want to see those but basically in here I've got uh, lettuces that were sown early January planted in the polytunnel they're looking pretty good these were the original ones so I interplanted the new ones into the bed with the originals really happy with those loads and loads of radishes all over the place basically but these are uh, February sown October sown carrots are looking pretty good. I think I've got six of these containers. The early cauliflowers are chugging away in the polytunnel. Things are planted into the spinach beds and hopefully you can see those are the earliest calabrese that I've got interplanted into the lettuce bed. The early beans are doing quite nicely in here in their tents. I was a bit worried about them when I planted them but they all seem to have survived and uh, they're growing on nicely. I've got another tent down there so one's got French beans in it, one's got runner beans in it. Uh, the red rouble salad kale is just starting to come up. I've got a big bed of that. So I'm pretty pleased with these. These are my earliest uh, new season brassicas. So these are sprouts and they're very densely packed because they're being grown for leaves. This is my second succession of beetroot uh, interplanted with spring onions and they're all growing beautifully in there. Very pleased with those. And then in this one, spring onions again interplanted uh, into these early sprout bed. If you've never tried sprout leaves, I highly recommend them. They're my favorite of the brassica leaves. This is my first succession 
of the early beetroot. Uh, these were sown, I think, in October. Uh, the other other ones were sown middle of October. First succession of this year's uh, spinach, red kitten, uh, sown in February. Uh, a few more radish, basically we have radish everywhere. So these are my overwintered onions. Really starting to thicken up nicely now. So I'm pretty pleased with those. Uh, these are tough ball. And then a bit further down there, we've got little clumps of on, which have gradually been thinned out to uh, main crop onion density. Well, not main crop, but uh, mature onion density, which is three or four onions per clump. And in the meantime, they're being used as spring onions. And a few cabbages that are just starting to twist. So they're my spring cabbages, but one, I've lost one, one's gone to seed. But I'll still be picking all those leaves and that seed head. This is the garlic and the elephant garlic bed. And most of it's looking pretty good, but at this end, we've got quite a few plants starting to, they've pushed themselves out of the soil. Um, so I'm gonna see if I can get those replanted. And this is the broad bean bed. That's looking okay, first few flowers on those. And these are the shallots, suffering a bit again from the lack of rain. So we haven't had any rain for two weeks now probably. And uh, it's been pretty warm. So everything else is planted out in the back garden. Lots of lettuce beds interplanted with spring onions under fleece. My third succession of beetroot under fleece. And peas for shoots. And peas for pods. And more peas for shoots. And green garlic down the end. So that's pretty much it for the allotment. All the other beds are being harvested. And if you want to see the beds harvesting, um, then uh, check out one of the tours. So let's head home. So back home underneath this spider farmer grow light, which is only on at night really at the moment. And that gives this rack here a full daylight basically for about 18 hours uh, when it's supplemented. Otherwise uh, this, uh, this room only gets the sun for about six hours. So it's not an ideal growing space, but that, the grow lights kind of turn it into that. And uh, some spinach. These are my polytunnel uh, tomatoes. Next batch of cucumbers, some trowel lettuces. Most of my lettuces are in the ground now, but uh, I've just grown a few extras just to try them out. Brassicas that are having a little bit of a rest because they've had too much sun. It's been very sunny here. More brassicas that have had too much sun. There's a nice selection there. Lots of collets and kales and the like, uh, golden beetroot, some more trial varieties of lettuce, interestingly the little, jet, little gems didn't germinate at all, um, or hardly at all, New Zealand spinach, sprouts sown in little clumps, there's three sprout plants per clump, again these are four leaves, in the back garden. They're going to get uh, planted out properly today underneath the cover. So I've got a few tomatoes which I'm growing in here and this is Ildi. Actually just you can see just the first signs there. I grow very very few early tomatoes. Another one there and I've got another one up on my grow shelf. And then my early cucumbers and it's really nice to see the first baby cucumber there just come in. Trumpuccinos, these are uh, summer squash, which can also be stored actually. Uh, we prefer them to courgettes. They're destined for the polytunnel pretty soon. More um, tomato, polytunnel tomatoes. Um, 
and more brassicas. Those are red cabbages. More spinach. Courgettes destined for the polytunnel. And again, more brassicas. And again, <laughs> not too much sun. That's the last of my early tomatoes. Need side shooting and potting on. And my earliest courgettes. Actually, these are the ones destined for the polytunnel. The other ones are going in a cold frame. And then these are my peppers. Going pretty nice. They like the sun, unlike the brassicas. And some spinach, just hardening off, ready to be planted out under cover. Kales, hardening off, ready to be planted out under cover. Uh, peas, next succession. This is my third succession of mange two peas. And um, yeah, some leeks. And then my first batch of potatoes. Uh, these are a mix of the last few of Swift that I've got uh, and Charlotte. These two trays are meant to be uh, sweet corn, but I got zero germination. So I've chitted some seeds instead and uh, they've germinated just fine. So I'll be planting those chits in, uh, well, actually this afternoon. And again, these are destined for the polytunnel and a cold frame actually. Okay, so on the computer now, I'll just point out that this database is available uh, for anybody who wants it. You can look at it with my content or you can take an extract from it uh, and add your own content. Uh, all the details are in the description of the video. So what we're looking at at the moment is the view for what we're sowing in April. Spring onions, of course, loads always sowing spring onions. I really love this uh, graffiti purple summer cauliflower. It's our favorite. In fact, it's the only cauliflower that we really grow for summer. Um, hungry gap kale, really like this. It's really good for the hungry gap. So as all the other kales are starting to fail, it's basically down to hungry gap kale and the perennial kales that we've got um, before uh, the uh, this year's planted brassicas kick in. New Zealand spinach, we absolutely love this. Um, then this is effectively our go-to spinach in summer when true spinach is just uh, running to seed uh, only a few weeks after you've uh, started to harvest it. We sow lots of different types of cucumbers, uh, just a few uh, fem spot, which is a traditional cucumber that you get in the supermarket. Um, we put that in the polytunnel, generally in the ground. Mercurio carrots, we're starting to sow some of these I normally sow my carrots in the ground, but because of the threat of potentially not being able to go to the allotment or not being able to go as frequently as we normally do, I'm going to sow some of these at home, just in uh, standard uh, 10 litre pots and uh, 30 to a pot, two pots every couple of weeks. Golden purslane, we love this in the salad mixes. Um, it's a really lovely uh, crunchy salad green. And then the outdoor tomatoes, all the polytunnel tomatoes are planted now, um, but there's just a few outdoor tomatoes, uh, tumbling tom, yellows, um, tumbler, reds. Last sowing of the um, matador spinach. This is one that is slow to bolt, but it still bolts in summer. Uh, then the squashes, crown prince and butternut squash, hurricane. Um, we love, really love the Crown Prince, uh, but Jenny loves um, butternut squash as well, so we sow just a few of those. And then summer brassicas, Atlantis, sort of broccolini type, um, Sante, purple sprouting broccoli, that's a summer PSB, uh, and Marath Marathon Calabrese. Now I did actually sow those in March, but the plants got scorched it's been so hot i i've had scorching problems in the polytunnel and in the conservatory seems no matter what i do i seem to get these uh, scorched leaves on the brassicas so i'm gonna have to figure out a way of shading them on the hottest of the days uh, anyway so i'll sow another, another batch they grow so quick uh, in spring it doesn't really matter um purple not purple perpetual spinach I prefer to sow this in April, then towards the end of April, we might sow some chard. 
and then the first of the winter cabbages, uh, tundra uh, and vertus, those are both savoys. Um, first batch of um, sweet corn for outdoors. I've got loads of sweet corn that I've already got growing uh, for indoors, but this is my first outdoor batch. Um, and that'll go into planted on Jenny's plot into the squash bed. And then courgettes, I actually probably won't be sowing those because I sowed a batch of courgettes last month and all six have germinated really well and I don't need more than six um, courgette plants. So uh, I'll maybe give those a skip. Uh, cucumbers, Lediva, they're the little um, sort of lunchbox type cucumbers, well a little bit bigger than that perhaps. Um, I really love those um, and uh, I'm always sowing successions of those. So every couple of months I'll sow some. I've got some next to me actually that are growing really nicely. Um, and then this is my uh, outdoor centre cut and trumpuccinos. I've already got my indoor ones growing really well uh, and they'll be planted out into the polytunnel probably next week. Um, and they need to be in a, like a little bubble wrap tent. Um, I just did a video actually on how I'm doing my early French beans and early runner beans in the polytunnel and they're in this bubble wrap tent. Uh, it's basically my technique for anything like um, courgettes uh, and summer squashes and beans at this time of year. And then more, lots more, uh, outdoor uh, tomatoes. And yeah, we're looking forward to those. I actually prefer the taste of outdoor tomatoes rather than polytunnel grown ones. But it's just so much more predictable to grow them uh, in the polytunnel. So we do both. And then Little Gem and Amaze. Every month I sow some of those. Most of the lettuce that we do, we do we use as a cut and come again uh, but I really like a little gem and a maize just to add a little bit of extra crunch uh, to the salad mixes and then towards the end of April that's when we sow our chard uh, or our first batch of chard uh, a little bit earlier I think there's a bit of a risk of it running to seed and then another batch of mercurio and this will go in the ground uh, in the polytunnel not in the polytunnel on the allotment so that is it for April. So pretty pleased with all of that lot. And I might just very quickly show you what we did in March. Just a quick skim through uh, to see if anything strikes me worthy of comment. Oh, the Colette's got scorched so I've had to sow another batch of collets it's really annoying this scorching problem um, yeah I'm not really sure what to do about it but they were the only ones that really suffered all the sprouts are fine um, all the red cabbage uh, over to the left there is fine oh they the um, Peas for shoots, they're doing really well. We just started to harvest those. All the peppers this year have done really well. I've got some trial lettuce varieties that I've never had before. Uh, so I'm really looking forward to those. Potatoes are doing well. We should be harvesting the potatoes in two or three weeks time. And we've got two or three weeks worth of supply um, of salad potatoes that we planted in August last year. Uh, we're just harvesting the last few of those and when we're finished we'll uh, start harvesting the this year's supply that are in the polytunnel they're growing pretty nicely dazzling blue that's all ready to be planted out um, and all these different kales they're growing nicely and as i mentioned i've planted all my early french and runner beans now and they seem to survive the trauma of being replanted. Um, yeah, I think that is pretty much it. So with that, I'll call it a day. Hope you enjoyed this quick video and I'll see you soon.